Good afternoon, and welcome to Winnipeg. Or maybe I gotta say good evening now. Okay, I kind of timed that, but not really. Uh, this is my second go at this. I, the first go I realized I, I didn't have the lights adjusted right. And I was sort of sitting here in the dark. <laughs> and I'm the most important thing at the model table. <laughs> yeah, well, not really. I think the model ship is the most important thing. However, it was probably about two hours ago I read a comment that uh, Aussie Frenchman had sent and it, it went something like, are you going to turn your pen tonight? That's, that's not exactly what he said, but that's what he meant. So I replied back, yeah, we, you know, fingers crossed or something like that. And at that moment, I was thinking, yeah, we can. The the lathe in the back room, it's all ready to go. The dust collection's all hooked up and working good. And yeah, I just got to, you know, slip the, the blank here on the mandrel. And, uh, and then I remembered, oh yeah, my chisels. I think they are sharp, but I don't know for sure. And the only way to know for sure is to resharpen them. Now I haven't honed the the stone on on my uh, grinder here for the longest time. It's it's gotten itself kind of out around. It's got a bad spot on it and it's it takes about an hour to do. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. I have to use a, uh, a a diamond cutter here. I don't know if you can see it but but right here on this little thing that I'm touching right now there's a little chips of industrial diamond embedded in it and it will actually cut the stone <laughs> the, the the stone which in turn will cut the hardest metal <laughs> uh well i don't know about the hardest but at least it'll turn these things and uh, grind those things and uh i think this is what i'm going to do uh probably for the rest of this evening is uh work on this thing I, how much of it i'm going to video i don't know um well, you know what, we can, take, we can take out a couple of minutes here and we'll put the blank on the mandrel. Now, it's quite possible that I said this exact same thing a month ago, but I don't remember. And uh, that is this. I had forgotten that the Sierra pen, the bushings are the same on both ends. In other words, if you turn your your blank down symmetrically, it doesn't matter which way it goes on. And uh, it goes in like that. Got another one's going to go in like this. Okay, I'm just tighten that up finger tight. And, and it's actually ready to go in the lathe now. And like I say, if I, if I knew for sure that my chisels were, were sharp, we could probably turn this into round. I don't know if we'd finish it tonight, but we could at least turn it into round. But uh, yeah, I got to work on my, uh, on my sharpening tool here, so. Okay. Okay, the next step is uh, quite time consuming, being as that I have got everything out of adjustment from the last time I actually sharpened these chisels. I have, I have uh, these three chisels that I'm going to sharpen are all on the exact same bevel, so if I get it right for the first one, I'll have it right for the other three. 
and uh, I have to get this adjusted just right. This is not a tutorial on how to adjust this machine. There's plenty of those on, on the uh, Tormac, has put plenty of those on the internet already. Uh, but what I do is I will mark with a, with a felt marker little lines along the, along the edge here. And, and then I can tell, you know, whether I got to go more this way or more that way as to how the lines wear off. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. It's, uh, like I say, it's time consuming and uh, you don't want to have to watch. Now this is the way I do it. It's worked for me for years. You might do it differently. And if you do it differently and it works for you, hey, go for it. But you know what? It's getting late here. I can see the clock out of the corner of my eye. I think it says 8.43 or thereabouts. And uh, I'm going to have to call her quits here. So thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.